Hey, Alex. How's it going? Hi, Anna. I'm doing well, thanks. How about you? I'm good, thanks. I was thinking about something interesting. Do you think it's possible to think in English? That's a great question. I definitely think it's possible. It just takes some practice. Have you tried thinking in English yourself? I have, but I sometimes find it challenging. What about you? How did you start thinking in English? I started by immersing myself in English as much as possible, watching movies, reading books, and talking to friends. It made a big difference. That sounds effective. Did you find it hard to switch from thinking in your native language to English? At first, yes. It was like my brain had to get used to a new way of processing information. But over time, it became more natural. Interesting. How long did it take for you to feel comfortable thinking in English? It took a few months of consistent practice. But even now, I sometimes switch back to my native language, especially when I'm tired. That's good to know. Do you find it easier to think in English when you're speaking or when you're writing? I find it easier when I'm speaking. Writing requires more precision, so I tend to think more about my choice of words. I can relate. Do you have any tips for someone who's trying to start thinking in English? Try to immerse yourself in the language, watch English shows, read in English, and practice speaking with friends. It helps build familiarity. What challenges did you face when you first started thinking in English? I struggled with finding the right words and forming sentences naturally. It was a learning curve. How do you overcome moments when you can't think of the right word in English? I use synonyms or describe what I'm trying to say until I can find the exact word. It helps to keep the conversation flowing. Does thinking in English help you with other language skills, like listening and reading? Definitely. It improves your overall language ability because you start to process information in English more quickly. Do you think it's essential to think in English to become fluent? It's not absolutely essential, but it definitely accelerates fluency. It helps you use the language more naturally. How do you handle moments when you revert to your native language while thinking in English? I remind myself of my goals and try to refocus on English. It's a matter of practice and perseverance. Have you noticed any cultural differences in how you think in English versus your native language? Yes, some concepts and expressions differ. It's fascinating to see how language and culture are connected. Do you use any specific apps or tools to help with thinking in English? I use language learning apps and watch English language videos to stay engaged with the language. How does thinking in English affect your confidence in using the language? It boosts my confidence because it makes me feel more comfortable and less reliant on translation. What role does immersion play in learning to think in English? Immersion is crucial. The more you surround yourself with English, the more natural it becomes to think in it. How important is it to practice speaking with native speakers for thinking in English? It's very important. Native speakers provide real-life contexts and help with pronunciation and fluency. Do you find it easier to think in English when you're in an English-speaking environment? Yes, being surrounded by English makes it easier to stay in that mindset. 
What are some exercises you recommend for improving thinking in English? Daily journaling in English and engaging in conversations with friends are great exercises. How does thinking in English impact your decision making process? It helps me make decisions more effectively because I'm processing information in English, which is the language I'm using. Do you think thinking in English is something that everyone can achieve? Yes, with enough practice and exposure, anyone can start thinking in English. How do you balance thinking in English with maintaining proficiency in your native language? I make sure to use my native language regularly, so I don't lose touch with it. What common mistakes do people make when trying to think in English? A common mistake is trying to translate directly from their native language, which can lead to awkward phrasing. How has thinking in English affected your overall language learning journey? It has made my language learning journey smoother and more enjoyable because I'm using English more naturally. What future goals do you have related to thinking in English? I want to continue improving and eventually think in English effortlessly in all areas of my life. That's a great goal. Do you ever get discouraged when it's tough to think in English? Sometimes. But I remind myself of the progress I've made and keep practicing. How do you stay motivated to keep thinking in English? I set small goals and celebrate my achievements. It keeps me motivated to continue practicing. Do you ever think in English without even realizing it? Yes, sometimes I catch myself thinking in English during everyday activities, which is a good sign. How do you feel about your progress so far? I'm pleased with my progress, but I know there's always room for improvement. It sounds like you're doing great. Thanks for sharing your experiences with me. No problem, Anna. It was a pleasure discussing this with you. Likewise. Let's catch up again soon. Definitely. Take care, Anna. You too, Alex. I just wanted to take a moment to say a huge thank you for joining me today. Your support means the world to me. And I'm so grateful to have each one of you as part of our English conversation family. If you enjoyed our chat and found it helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment, and share this video with your friends. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss out on our next conversation. Remember, we're all in this together, and I'm here to help you every step of the way. Thanks again for hanging out with me, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Until then, take care and keep shining.